Alright, hello everyone. I, this is a quick update video. I wanted to uh, let you guys know that I have been working on it after my last video. Uh, the problems that I had, I decided that I was going to just have to bite the bullet and tear this thing apart and do a lot of uh, rework. So, first thing I started with were the bogey wheels. Uh, the other wheels were small and the bearings weren't the greatest and they were hanging up a lot and that was causing the, a lot of the problems I was having with the other pulleys. As you can see, the old wheels were a lot smaller, the bearings weren't as good. I bought these newer wheels, which are a lot bigger and have better um, bearings inside of them. Uh, also, I'm going to have to change the suspension. Only the configuration. The great thing is, it looks like I'm going to be able to use the same suspension parts, just have to reconfigure it and bolt it into a little bit different position. But that looks like that's going to work. Right now, um, I just got it uh, laid out and I have to weld it into place. Okay, the next thing I had to do was move the engine forward. A lot of my other problems I was having was the pulleys were too small and too close together. So I moved the engine ahead about six inches, uh, bolted that back in place, and uh, now I'm just working on the back part uh, to get the, um, the new drive axle in. All right, the new uh, pulleys that I got, this is the old one here and this is the new one. It's not as big as I would have liked to have gone. I really would have liked to have gone with about an 8-inch pulley. This ends up being almost 6, about 5.5 inches. But I think it's going to make a huge difference. This is the plate that's going to hold the new uh, position for the drive axle. And what that's going to do is allow the space between the two pulleys, the one in the back and the one in the front here, to have a lot more room. I'll also be able to put the idler pulley in a better position and I think it's really gonna help uh, overall the uh, performance of everything. So um, anyway, that's where I'm at right now. Um, I'll try to get another video out as soon as I can and uh, keep you guys posted on what's going on. But I think we're heading the right direction. I think it's gonna work uh, this next time. So thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned.